Yo, what up? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Lem Collins. Marcus Monroe. And it's your favorite dads back at it once again. Script work. And today we have another highly requested video for y'all. And it is from Jordan Lucas. And it is Ross Cap Capacroni. Capricorn. Cap Cap Capricorn. Capricorn. You don't want to say his pronounce his name wrong. Ross so Capricorn. Yeah, I, I've been calling him Ro Ross Cappuccini for the longest time, <laughs> but we apologize if we say the name wrong. But anyway, once again, <clears throat> merchandise is coming. We're getting everything right. Mm -hmm. Also, um, we had a few sponsors reach out to us, and uh, it got lost in the email and the script work. Uh, our script work productions email is flooded, it you is know what I'm flooded. saying, with uh, YouTube notifications. So we made a new email. So if you want to get at us about sponsorships, uh, you want to uh, go to scriptworkbiz at gmail.com. That's scriptworkbiz with a Z. And uh, matter of fact, I'm going to put it right here. Uh -huh, right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right there. Yep. Right there. All right. Yep. <laughs> So oh, also, 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 if you uh, if you want to donate to us just because you we're awesome, mm -hmm. PayPal link right there in the description. Mm -hmm. Now that's down there. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Shouts out to y'all, my Care Bears out there. Give me some love. Hug life. Come here. Hug life. Yeah, that was a good <laughs> hug right there. You know what I'm saying. Look, if you haven't already done so, you already know what I'm about to say. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video. Leave some comments. He hasn't seen the Ross Cappuccini video. Capricorni. Capricorni. Cap yeah. He hasn't seen it. I've seen it when it first was released a while ago. And uh, now getting back into doing what we do. Uh, this is going to be his first time watching it. This is his first reaction. We know the video is kind of long. We're going to stop it where we can. We're not going to go in too in-depth into the breakdown. Because... We I really want him to get the story, uh, but after the video was done, we'll talk about it and we'll break down what we can break down and we'll go through how we do. You know what I'm saying? Try not to make this too long. All right, but we just want to get into this video, so let's go on and check it out. Hashtag dad swag. Hashtag hug life. Video song based on a true story. More than I prayed for Got dressed to head out And ride to school on my skateboard New kid in class I sat alone taking notes While the hoodlums were making jokes At the clothes that my mama paid for Seemed like everyone was a part of some gang invasion Tattoos at initiation Parole and some on probation Today on my way to eat lunch Some kid approached me He told me we should be cool If only he got to know me Cause on the side of town I would need some protection It's crazy reckless and dangerous Unless I'm some sort of gangster I'm only safe with the police Was kind of skeptical about him at first Cause I didn't trust him and the more I got to know him, I couldn't tell what his motives were Hoping that he was sincere, something told me let go But the only thing on my mind was patience Searching twice for a different life, I was tired of waiting Cause me and had similar views and conversations Infused with knowledge, he was type cool when I was with him Introduced him to my family, they were rocking with him My mama told him, make sure you look out for my son Don't you even stress that I got it under control It's been two months since we met, it seems like we've gotten close Some cat approached me and tried to beef with me, I just froze And I see pounding and stomping on me, rid out his clothes Called me his brother and told me he got me to the fullest Even if that means bullets, bullets, guns, AKs and shotguns to the killers That's the realest shit I ever witnessed a few weeks later, my uncle sold me a Honda Civic A 93 with no license plates and no registration And then he asked me for a ride around the block Some distance from where I was parking Instantly I knew that spot was sketchy My mama would kill me My intuition told me not to I knew it was wild And plus I knew I had no business So placed on the side of town And I read about some chick who went lurking without a sound And got murked and a body found It's abandoned villains and scammers and killers Provoking gangsters But maybe I'm overthinking Maybe I might be straight just as long as I pump the brakes And try not to think about I just trust I'll be fucking safe And then I told him let's go Hop in He dabbed me up and Started telling jokes The whole ride there Had me cracking up As we were getting closer I felt funny My stomach turned Drive slow as I looked It was all abandoned and quiet Not a single person in sight Nobody standing in right When I pulled the car to the side He said right here 
next and step Turn the car off and chill And I start to panic, he told me relax Then he pulled the keys out the ignition and hopped out last I couldn't, he ripped me right out my seat And then grabbed the side of the jeans And then pulled out the shotty And all I heard was a speech And he shot my arm into pieces I'm thinking I must be dreaming And another shot to my chest And oh. my breath from my lungs collapsed And I'm down on my fucking knees asking a why He looked at me, I looked him dead in the eyes And he smashed my face with the barrel And I throw my teeth to the sky And I heard a ch ch sound of the shotty cock back He pressed the heart against my head And blew my fucking top back why is he doing this? Bruh. Bruh. He just became friends with this dude. He was, you know what I'm saying? He he had his back and everything. Why is he doing them like met, this? When he met dude family. And I met the fam and everything. He said, I got your back. Yeah, just keep watching, dog. Trifling ass nigga, yo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boy. I'm still conscious, I'm breathing. I'm still moving, no clue as to why I'm not dead. All this blood that I'm losing it. I heard my car drive off. Then I looked up and seen the sun, and that was all that I saw. Then I heard my conscience tell me, get up, nigga, get up. You're losing blood, oh my. Don't fall asleep or you'll die. Stay awake and move as much as possible. There's no time. Find some help and try to yell. You ain't too well, oh God. I love the way they shooting this video, dog. Like from the uh, first person point of view, yeah. it's like it's putting you in his shoes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's like, can you imagine you you are, you alone in this in this in this new school? You don't know nobody, and you meet this one guy, yeah, and y'all just you know what I'm saying. This the two you you y'all click, you know what I'm saying. And, and now I'm telling you can trust him. Usually when somebody say you can trust him, but don't. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But he a new person in a new he situation. Don't know about, yeah, and then he wants to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And he then, wants to be able to trust. This exactly. Guy. And then these cats you know tried I mean? to jump him, but he had he, which he probably set up himself. Yeah, he stepped you in. You know what I'm saying? To, yeah. to step in and yeah, let him furthermore build know the that, trust. Know that he has his back. And yeah. build his trust up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the way wow. they shot this video with the with you see in the beginning, you see his hands all bleed. Like what's going on? Yeah, and then I'm you like, see what led up to it. Yeah, I like the why. Mm -hmm. The why. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's called the why and the what. The why and the what. I like mm -hmm. the why and the what at the beginning. Mm -hmm. The why and the what, that's something that writers, you know what I'm saying, uh, use when it comes to writing movies. You know, the first thing we need to know is the why and the what. Like, why something happened. What what just happened and why it happened. Yeah, the you know what and the why. It wasn't the why. So, what the hell just happened and why did it happen? Was that opening scene, like, when you saw the bloody hands and stuff? Mm -hmm. That's the what? And then, no, now, why? now we just need to try and figure out the why. <sighs> Jonah Lucas is amazing, y'all. Dog, this is just the first part of the song. This is Any, anything anything y'all request from Jonah Lucas, uh, I'm not going to do it unless it has the video to it. Mm -hmm. Cause John Lucas, his visions are. I want to do keep it. His 100. visions are next level. I want to do keep it a hundred. I will do that too. He be making movies. Huh? Yeah, he do. Woke up at seven. My day was worse than I prayed for. Got dressed to head out and down the stairs from the eighth floor. New kid in class. He sat alone taking notes while my niggas were making. Mm hmm. Nigga! So now he's nah, he telling the story his, from his point of view. Yeah. He wasn't ready. He was not ready. This that Ross Cappuccini. Capuccini. So yeah, Capricorn County. Yeah, Capricorn County. Yeah. This is so dope. <laughs> Yo! So now you about to see why. That's, you gotta get your why. That switch up was a bar. Yeah. <laughs> Flex. That, that switch up was a bar. That switch up was a bar, dog. Oh my god. Let's get into it, dog. Don't set the clothes that his mama paid for. Oh, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Go back, dog. Yeah. I gotta go back. I gotta go back, dog. 
Let's join the Lucas, dog. Woke up at seven, my day was worse than I prayed for. Got dressed to head out and down the stairs from the A floor. New kid in class, he sat alone taking notes while my niggas were making jokes at the. That's the nigga he was dapping up, mm -hmm. talking to with mm -hmm. the dog on at the car. Yeah. Yep. New kid in class, he sat alone taking notes while my niggas were making jokes at the clothes that his mama paid for. Had no family, but was cool with the local gangsters, tattoos, and some on parole and probation for breaking rules. That life was all I knew, all I wanted to do was cruel, smoke weed and say fuck school, wanted goddess, cause all my role models I would look up to was indicted the young dudes with no logic. I went to church to the pastor, said fuck you, now I'm violent. Pause it real quick. You heard what he said? He said, all my role models I looked up to was indicted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All the people he looked up to was in jail. In jail. You know what I'm saying? He looked out for me, vibes for me, and adopted me. Said they wanted to rock with me, and I wanted to get down. Guess there was something missing. Anything comes with a price. There's only one condition. All you gotta do for initiation is kill an innocent victim and leave them there with no witnesses or no snitches. If you do that, you're down with a clip. And that's for life. So don't you ever think you're getting out of the shit? I thought about it, soaking up the vibe as I studied. That's crazy. Wow. So now we know the why. Now we know the why. Now we know the why. The gang initiation. The gang initiation. <sighs> yeah, boy. Oh my God. Senseless crimes, man. Senseless. Yeah. By order of the Peaky fucking, fucking blinders. blinders. I feel like a gangster right now. For information, trying to choose my victim, plotting the weakest prey. But today on my way to eat lunch, I approached him and told him we should be cool if only I got to know him. Cause on the side of town, he would need some protection. It's crazy, reckless, if only unless he's some sort of gangster. He only saved with the police. Was kind of skeptical about me at first cause he didn't trust me. But the more he got to know me, he couldn't tell what my motives were. Hoping that I was sincere, but little did he know I was trying to snake him and pop him break. Just need the perfect opportunity, I'm tired of waiting. Had murder running through my head, I knew that death was coming. He introduced me to his family, I was jealous of him. His mama told him, make sure you look out for my son. And before she could finish his sentence, I quickly just interjected and said, don't you even stress me. So not only he's doing this for the gang initiation, he's also jealous that this guy has an actual the, family. He has the life that he never had. He has a life that he never had and he wants... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's envious of him. Yeah. He don't have a family. They go back to that same hood shit we was talking about in the other video. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of lives lost on the project bench. Yeah. Cats, they ain't have nothing else. The people they looked up to was indicted in jail. He just of his life because he got an actual family and stuff. Mm -hmm. Then he got the whole fucking asshole, yo. Mm -hmm. I got him to the fullest, even if that means bullets, bullets, games, AKs, and choppers to the killers. I was lying to the fucking limits. Took advantage when he said he had that Honda Civic. A 93 with no license place and no registration. Just thinking about every place I'm going to go when I finally kill him. And instantly I knew my chance was coming. I'm ready to drill him. Then he told me, let's go. Hop in. I dabbed him up and started telling jokes the whole ride there. Had him cracking up as we were getting closer. He felt funny. I think he knew something was coming. That look he had was enough to tell me, but fuck it, go right. Not a single person in sight And nobody standing in right When he pulled the car to the side I said right here, sit still Turn the car off and chill Then he started to panic I told him, relax Then I pulled the keys out the ignition And hopped out and laughed Seen his light flash in an instant I inched to his driver door Then he tried to lock it He couldn't And then put out the shot He had cocked it twice till he screamed Then he shot his arm into pieces I'm watching his blood leaking And another shot to his chest Seen his stomach squeezing his breath And his lungs collapsing He down to his fucking knees Asking me why He looked at me I looked him down Dead in the eyes and I smashed his face with the barrel Knocked all his teeth to the sky I pressed the heart against his head and blew his fucking top back Fucking car Fuck Dumbass left the murder weapon Just like somebody who would do some shit mm -hmm. like that, do all that goddamn dumb ass shit to get caught right after. Mm -hmm. Fucking asshole.
Yep. That was a goddamn crazy ass song. <sighs> I told you, boy. <sighs> that it was crazy. And the thing about it is a true story. That's all be, crazy. All because he wanted to be initiated into a gang. Like, I'm going to tell you something, man. Dog, like, when I first graduated from college and I, you know, I was teaching and stuff. When I, well, I say this. When I first got out of teaching, I had started working for this group home. Mm -hmm. And all those boys in this group home, like, the majority of them, bro, was, like, in gangs. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They all, I didn't realize how deep that gang stuff was. Like, I knew the gang stuff was deep over in uh, on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know it was big in South Carolina the way it was. And I'm telling you, bro, I sat down and talked to those guys, man. And they was telling me the stuff that they went through to get, in, to get initiated into the gangs. Mm -hmm. and, and I was asking, like, why are y'all doing it? Mind you, I'm at a group home. These kids don't have no family. They only family was the gang, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. the gang protected them, you know what I'm saying? It took care of them. Like, when you in the gang, it's a whole organization. It's a business. Like, they they do crimes and they mm -hmm. stuff. Like, the way they make money is selling drugs and robbing people. And that's how they eat. And that's the only family they got, you know what I'm saying? And I was just like, I was asking these kids, I was like, why, why would you even want to be a part of a gang? They was like, that's the only way to survive. If you on the streets, that's the only way to survive. Why and having initiation is a is, is, is a senseless killing on a um, uh, uh, innocent well innocent person. They do that because that's the only because it's it's like that's the only way you can get in and, and never leave. Because if you leave, that's you can't go tell on them. You know what I'm saying? Like if if you leave the game, if you try to get out I of mean, the game, I mean, even though this wouldn't be justifiable, why not a rival gang member? Yeah, it's it, none of it's justifiable. But the thing about it, if you go kill a rival gang member, that that rival gang gonna come back and retaliate on your not just you but your family. So you go kill an innocent person, you ain't gotta worry about no retaliation. You know what I'm saying? I remember one kid told me, he said well, part of their initiation, I can't remember what game it was, gang it was, so I don't want to put it out there, but they said they had to, um, they, the way they got initiated, they had to kill a, 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 a pregnant woman, an innocent <sighs> pregnant woman. They had to find a pregnant woman and attack her. That's the only way they was to get in this. I'm like, damn, for real? And I don't know how true it was because this kid was like, 13 years old, you know mm. what I'm saying? Because it was like, but they didn't have no family, bro. And that, the gang was their family. And that's the only way they would survive in the streets or whatever. And this shit is not cool. We need to do something to clean up these streets. Yeah, we do, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know what goes on in these I, streets. I, hey, well, I always tell my wife, I was like, hey, don't, uh, uh, anybody in my family, hey, don't be don't be flashing nobody if they mm -hmm. riding there. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't warn nobody of nothing. You see them riding down the streets with no, no head, lights, no, no no lights it's on, all no kind nothing. Of little ways it's that all they get kind you. of little ways they get you. Yeah. Always, always, always watch your surroundings. Yo. Always mind your business. Because there's always somebody like that yeah. plotting. Yeah. And they and they. And there's always somebody like that around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Streets is always watching. The streets is always watching, dog. They mm -hmm. always watching. So they, you know. That luckily for Ross Cappuccini or Capron, he 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 uh he survived. He, he just blew his head off. Well, what happened was he shot. He hit it with his hand. He hit the gun with his hand. He did. He said he 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 uh he shot the gun and tried to blow his fucking top back. Oh. But the the guy the guy Ross Cappuccini didn't die. And it's it's uh videos on YouTube with the dude Ross Cappuccini, the real guy that it happened to. Uh, he's he he does interviews and he's talking about so it. So he the dude the other dude locked up, right? I'm not sure what the what happened to all of that, but I do know. That, I hope he is. Yeah, I hope he is too, man. And uh, look, if you got some kids, especially, I mean, bruh, dog. When I was doing the group home, bruh, like the the little girls that was out there mm -hmm. that was getting initiated in the game, mm -hmm. they was getting gang gang banged to get initiated. <sighs> And one girl, she had a baby, and uh, one girl that I was working with, she had a baby. And I was like, do you know, who's the baby father, blah, blah, blah. And she was like one of the gang members. And the night she got pregnant, she had to have sex with like 19 of them. 19? Like 19 dudes in one night to get initiated to a gang. And she got pregnant by one of the gang members. It's crazy, bro. Man, y'all make sure y'all love on y'all kids, man. <sighs> 
being, you know what I'm saying, if, mm-hmm. if, you, and, if you and your spouse ain't together, make, it, make, make sure they get that love, so, you know? So check this out, though. In the system, once those kids that's in the system that done been through all of that, yeah. once they turn 18, they got to get out. They put them out on the streets. They try to get them jobs and yeah. stuff like that, but they don't have nowhere else to go. So all they know is they, they gang family. Yeah, yeah. That's they it. go right back to They go to the gang, and then they end up in the system, in jail, because they done did some crazy stuff. See, yeah. we had gangs in South Carolina when we was growing up, but it was more like It was hood. It was, yeah. It was it hood. Was, it, was it, was it wasn't no gang you, gang. It was gang, 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 your block. It represent, represent your hood. Your hood you know yeah, what yeah. Shouts out to Oakview. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Oakview. You know what I'm saying? Like We beef we, with other neighborhoods. Like Nickel Town. Mm-hmm. And, you know we, what yeah, saying? we beef with other neighborhoods. Stuff like that. We at, didn't the, take, at the time. But we didn't. We weren't trying to kill nobody. You nah. know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't about, about money. It wasn't about money. It was all about them hands. It wasn't about surviving. It was just about saying, hey, my hood, is, hood. It was my hood is tougher than your hood. That's it. That's pretty much it. That's it. But, um, yo. That's the Ross Cappuccini video. We don't want to make this thing longer than what it need to be. Uh, Shouts out to everybody who watched this with us. And if you haven't, you know, say if this is your first time watching it, let us know what you think. That was Uh, crazy. All I I want to say, yo, I'm disgusted and amazed. Yeah. I'm disgusted but, by the situation, the actual situation. And I'm, I'm amazed by, by Jonah, Jonah Lucas' uh, artistry. Yeah, it's facts. You facts. are an amazing person. Facts. That made me want to just go you get my... You are special, dog. Dog, I'm going to have to take a break, bro, and go get my kids a hug, dog. Facts. Just go give them... Like, look, if you haven't hugged your kids today, hug your kids. Hug your Talk kids. to your kids. Especially if you have teenage sons you, that you, you may not know what's going on in the streets or what's going on at the school. Because a lot of stuff happens at the school you don't even know about. Talk to your daughters. You know what I mean? Like, make sure wherever you are, you never know what could be going on. Know who their friends are. Yeah. Know who they know who they parents are. You yeah, know, know who their parents are. You never know, bro. And just, look, keep your eyes open. And uh, just pay attention to your surroundings. And teach your kids. Even if your kids haven't saw this video, make sure they watch it. Make sure they watch this video because it's the truth. It's what goes on out there. Um, that happened in Detroit, but guess what? The hoods in Detroit is just like every hood around America, uh, around the world. All hoods are the same. You know what I mean? Uh, from my block to your block, peace, love, and respect. Shouts out to everybody. Hit the like button, subscribe, share this video, and um, we'll catch y'all on the next one, all right? Good work. Much love. Good work.